Okay, let's have a look at how to do this site analysis, get started. So from the sheet I shall open the site analysis plan and I'll turn off the crop so that I can see beyond what I've drawn there and turn off the crop view so we can have a bit of a blank canvas. First thing we need to do is to get a some contours happening. So www.land.fic.gov.au using the interactive map I shall go to our address Um, so once I've got that, we can then add the contours. Go to the build map, add the contours, and refresh map. Okay, so I've got a contour either side of the site here. I've got a 440 and a 450 going on over here. So zoom in a bit so I can see those two contours around our site quite specifically and use the save image option return back into Revit and drag and drop that image into place and Here's where we need to rotate and um, scale that image uh, so that it suits our title document. Um, first of all, I'm going to try to establish some kind of an angle that this boundary is on, uh, and then I'll it'll give me a defined number to rotate the image rather than rotating by eye. So dimension, angular, 7.8 degrees. So select on that image. We shall rotate it around. I uh, actually want to go 90 minus 7.8. And I will then move from approximately corner boundary to where our corner boundary is on our title document and use the scale button down the side of that boundary to scale that image up to be approximately over the top of our boundary lines uh, so that gives me enough you know scaled information to be able to start putting um, a bit of topography over these contours let's pop that in next Top of surface, um, and we'll place a point at four four zero one two three. We're inputting millimeter data, and four five zero one two three again millimeters, and select the tick. Obviously, well above the. Um, cut plane that we've got at the moment so I'll scroll down to the view range and we'll lift this up to 500 meters and level below should be actually unlimited pick OK and that brings up our contour lines over our building um, so what we're looking for is as a contour line that we can um, sort of match up with one that we've got taken from our site approximately. Now I know that this point here on the corner of that boundary is probably one that we've got. Um, if I drag the, our little measure up across so we can check that, uh, we should see that point H here um, should match up. I'll spin that so we can see it on the same 
Yes, so we've got point H and R out on that point. I'm looking for a spot on the uh, thing there, mainly because there's a contour running through there. That's the only link. Um, so the have a look at H, which is uh, the end post. So we're on the on the footpath running through where that contour is there. So H on our spreadsheet came up as 99.510. So all we've got to work out now is how to get 99.510 on this spreadsheet to read the same as the contour over here. This contour, if I label it, is 4450. Not sure about my settings on that contour there. Let's take all these bits and pieces off and it needs to be in meters not millimeters and to two decimal points so 445 is what H needs to read so if we come back to the, uh, the spreadsheet here uh, 445 makes H come up as 444510 so we need to work out the difference between those two so it's opening up the calculator um, so we've got 445 one two three uh, and minus 444 four. what was H again 510 510 490 millimeters different so I'll put in, added to the number at the top, should bring H up at 445000, so that contour should match. Now that I've got that in place I shall just hide that image, EH, to hide that image under there. Okay, so we've established that our points are in place. So I've got four four just better zoom in on that so I can see it a bit better. Uh four four five four nine zero is now being the TBM floor level. Uh, and that's so that the contour that runs through under the veranda just here, which was at um point H, will read four four five. 0, 0, 0. So we're just matching in with the existing lay of the land. Uh, so let's start putting those in place. So if you select on the topography, edit surface, select place a point and we shall go 445 0, 0, 0, being our point H which was here. We can then proceed to put in all of these points around starting with K and E out the sides um, and just see how it affects the existing uh, fall of uh, the contours that are on that land that we got from land.vic and we can double check back onto the, um, the original measure up uh, field notes as needed. I'll just drag this off onto a second screen fortunately and we can come through and um, input our data Okay, with all of those points placed, we can um, see how it's altered the contours to suit directly the levels that we've taken on site um, and how that direct, directly affect the overall. So that's a good start, gets our contours working. Um, this is currently set up as uh, contours noting as per, per metre, but we probably should show them as um, maybe 200 millimetre increments. Uh, don't worry about putting the levels down into the gutter centre line of the gutter shown there. 
um, it's a bit more complex for that we don't really need that at, at this stage and uh, the next step after this um, will be to put the um, uh, near map image in behind um, so I've uploaded some near map images and we can um, drag them in and start tracing over our bits and pieces around um, before we go too much further we do need to alter the elevations um, as we've got elevations at the moment they would be sitting you can see here that the uh, topography is sitting way up in the air because we've put that in at that 450 kind of mark and down here is our, our buildings and our level points what we need to do here is just lock up put a dimension between those level points um, select on a level point so we can see the the height of that um, and if um, I just need to double check what what I put in for my TBM which was 445490 press enter and we should now have something um, our building appearing up on top of that's a bit of old surface there building appearing up on top of our surface that we've just put in place um, and the 3D should be set to existing so it only shows the existing building um, sitting on topography as it is and um, we can work it um, if you're wondering how to do these doors and windows and things like that I do have a um, tutorial for those things should be sitting in that site analysis resource so back on your project go to resources come down to the site analysis resources folder and there's quite a few little things in there there's the upper molding as a family um, true north few bits and pieces there's the site analysis mp4 is the presentation um, a couple of building modeling part one and part two are the ones that um, should show you how to model up some bits and pieces there the window and that molding across the top thank you